Now, Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, good afternoon. You know, we could feel that heat right from the start this morning. It was warm and stuffy out there to start the day. We had some high clouds coming through. We also had a few low clouds out there. As those thinned out this afternoon, we did get some sunshine, and that did boost our temperatures once again. And that humidity is high as it's going to stay that way. It's currently 90 degrees at Ingleside, Corpus Christi at 92 to 96 at Alice, and upper 80s at the coastline. But the heat index has been climbing this afternoon, and it's been up to, in fact, Kingsville had a heat index a couple hours ago of 119 degrees. So certainly those heat indices rather high and look at Alice at 118 right now. That's what it feels like out there when you factor in that humidity and Corpus Christi at 109. So those are some dangerous heat indices and that's why we have that heat advisory until 8 o'clock tonight until the air cools down. It's not quite as dangerous out there. Wind speeds have been picking up as expected and we see those winds around 23 miles an hour in Corpus a little bit lighter as you head inland and we'll have that nice breeze blowing tonight as temperatures stay warm only dropping close to 80 even some lower 80s at the beaches tonight so a very muggy night out there but fortunately we have that breeze blowing and tomorrow the temperatures climb again it's going to be very similar to today with uh, reaching about 95 degrees in Corpus Christi the heat index as high as 112. So take care again tomorrow. We probably will have another one of those heat advisories that'll be issued. So high temperatures you can see across the area from 91 at Rockport tomorrow to 96 Robstown and heading inland upper 90s touching close to 100 degrees for the first official day of summer. All right, if you're heading to the beach tomorrow, the waves have come up even more. We're looking at four to five foot waves, but uh, the rip current risk has dropped tomorrow to a low risk, but I'd say low to moderate on this one. And we're seeing that water temperature holding at 86 degrees. While we just have some clouds right here, it's very dry here. Uh, farther to the north, the main storm system that's gonna be uh, producing some severe weather is across the central U.S. as well as the eastern seaboard. Take look at all those severe storm watches as this front is approaching. So the action has pulled to the north, but as this front pulls south again this weekend, we're looking at more severe weather possible in the Lone Star State, but that stays north of us. For us, we're dealing with the humidity this time of year, very common. And take a look at these dew points. When they get close to 80 degrees, that is just very oppressive air. I want you to notice something out to the west, how much drier the air is. Later next week, around next Tuesday and Wednesday, forecast models start to bring that drier air closer to us and they drop the humidity down a little bit next week. But until about Tuesday, we're still dealing with this. These heat indices climbing each day, although they do come down a little bit as we head into Sunday and Monday, we're still looking at some very hot and sticky weather. So tomorrow summer officially begins at 1054. And as you're heading outdoors, of course, this weekend, you'll want to find a way to stay cool because take a look at these temperatures for your weekend forecast. Those heat indices still climb I mean, close to 110 each day in our inland areas and temperatures reaching the mid 90s. Here is your seven day forecast then. And as I mentioned, the temperatures come down just a tad this weekend. Certainly not enough to make it feel much cooler. Nights are very stuffy in the lower 80s all the way into early next week. I did continue to leave that chance. We could see a thunderstorm, especially Monday and Tuesday. But other than that, there's just not much rain in the forecast. Have a lot of heat though, and we're going to toss it out to Cole, who is at the KZTV studio. He's just outside the studio with an experiment. I hear you're melting things out there today, Cole. What are you doing? 